we are back with part two of the past seven years of my main computer's history. Let's get out of this folder so I'm not getting bugged by the thumbnail here constantly refreshing. So, yep. So, where we left off, we had just finished out 2017. My main computer was sitting on revision 2.0.1, and uh, I believe that 2017. Yeah, 2017 was an extremely quiet year for the main computer setup. And, yeah, I think 2017, uh, well, actually 2017 was a little bit, kind of, but 2017 was the quietest year, up, up to 2017 was the quietest year in my main computer's history, because 2013, that was a, that's a drop in the bucket because the year was out with it because 2013 was finished out within six days of me of me getting the setup so yeah 20 said so 2013 was just a blip on the radar because a bug landed on it uh, 2014 was pretty eventful with a motherboard failure and everything like that uh, I don't think 2015 was that. Yeah, 2015 was uh, also a pretty quiet year. Uh, in fact, I actually think between 2013 and 2013 and 2017 that 2015 was the quietest year out of that time span. Now, 2016 was about as busy as it could get because I basically rebuilt the entire system. In fact, we started off 2016 on main computer revision 1.4 and we ended 2016 on main computer revision 2.0.1. We started 2017 on 2.0.1 and we ended it on version two, on revision 2.1.2. So, yeah, pretty eventful. Now, for 2018, if, yeah, for 2018, uh, April of 2018, my ATI Radeon HD 5850 graphics card, after some updates, decided that it didn't want to act right in my system anymore. So, guess what happened to it? It got replaced. Yep. So, ATI Radeon HD 5850 got swapped out for an XFX Triple X Edition RX 580 with 8GB of VRAM, and that's actually what I'm running right now. And if you hear some fan noise, it's probably a combination of our air conditioner, the regular fans in my computer, and the GPU fans. Uh, I actually have a slightly more aggressive, I actually have kind of an aggressive fan profile on my GPU right now. Or, well, I normally have an aggressive fan profile for my GPU because that thing gets really hot really quickly with the stock fan profile it has. I don't like it, so guess what? I overrid it uh, using fan control and I think PWM config. Yeah. Uh. <clears throat> we had that uh, and a few other changes took place. But the main computer, but the graphics card swap is the most pertinent, is the most pertinent item to the topic of this video because it actually involves hardware changes on my main computer. And as a direct result of that, the main computer revision was incremented from 2.1.2 to 2.2.2. And speaking of twos, today is Sunday, December 20th, 2020, and and today would be the last time and. 100 years that we will have six 20s in the date and time. It is currently uh, 1220, 2020 at 2005 20. So it's 520s right there, but uh, in about 15 minutes or in about 15 minutes or so, uh, we'll run across this. Uh, 12, 20, 20, 20 at 2020. 20, 20. Yeah, uh, 
12, 20, 20, 20, and 20, 20, 20. So six 20s. So, yeah. So, and this is also covered in the video. Uh, yeah, th uh, this hardware change is also addressed in the video. Main computer setup update, 4-20-2018. And, yeah. Now, in June of 2018, uh, I did an operating system upgrade. I went from Xubuntu 16.04 LTS to Xubuntu 18.04 LTS, and that incremented the main computer revision from 2.2.2 to 2.2.3 because we increment because we incremented the op uh, we upgraded our operating system that subsequently increments the operating system sub revision operating system revision number, thus incrementing the overall main computer revision number. And in September of 2018, I got a, I got a Fisher RS-2010 stereo receiver, which that thing has been in service ever since. In fact, 2018. In fact, here it is. Yeah, this is basically as I. This is almost the same condition as I got it, except I've removed the cover. Uh, here it is powered up. Yeah, here it is powered up for one of the very first times uh, since 1988. Yeah, this thing uh, was bought new in 1980, and it was used from 1980 until 1988. It then sat in the house, disused. Not our house, not our house, but one of my, uh, either my one of my dad's friends' places or one of my dad's cousins' places' houses. Uh, it sat in that, it sat in their house from 1988 until 1995, disused, and then it sat in an unfinished shed from 1995 until September of 2018 when I acquired it. So the thing had been basically dead asleep for 30 years at that point and and I here's basically what I did I took it out of the cabin I took it home I plugged it in and it worked yeah I swear that Fisher equipment I swear that even the 70s and 80s Fisher equipment is like uh, what was it? Zenith TVs. The thing can sit. The thing can sit out in the desert for thirty years. The thing can sit out in the desert for thirty or forty years. You plug it in and it works. Yeah. So I go doing stuff again with the mouse cursor. Yeah. Uh, here it is picking up 106.5 uh, Jack FM in FM stereo. Uh, so yeah, it, this thing basically worked from the moment from the moment I plugged it in and turned it on. So here's another photo of it showing the top side. Of course, all the bulbs are burnt out, and no, I haven't replaced them. It's all yeah, here. It is, and yes, this right here is a bit melted, uh, probably because of the heat generated by the bulb. And here's some of the speaker contacts. And I uh, took a couple of them off. I don't know why. I think one of them was a bit... I think they were a bit messed up. And, well, they kind of broke and I couldn't ever get them to go back on again. So I salvaged a couple of them. And so I salvaged a couple of them off of my... Uh, Fisher RS-1056 stereo receiver. Yeah. And uh, yeah, other than that, there's basically nothing. There's other than that, there's basically nothing of note here. Uh, here's one. Here's a photo from May 25th of 2018 with that piece of garbage, TAC AG 680 stereo receiver. This thing is a piece of garbage, and if it like caught on fire and blew up, 
It was like, this stereo receiver, if this thing like caught on fire, blew up, quit working, ceased to exist, got stolen out of the cabin tonight, I would not care. That's how much of a piece of garbage it is. I don't care about it. Yeah. Yeah, this thing is a kind of a major pain in the butt to get running. Why? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna guess and say the firmware on it's a bug. Because like it would experience very it would experience inconsistent behavior if you did the same thing to it multiple times. You know, good luck figuring that one out. And here's the tech room, uh, where it looked like a radio shack had been hit by an EF-5 tornado. Uh, I'd just gotten a ton of stuff, and yeah. And this is whenever I boxed up a bunch of stuff and stuck and put it on shelves and everything. You know, like I actually organized. So... And that was extremely beneficial to the tech room. More boxes and stuff. And yeah, here I am preparing to perform the operating system upgrade. Uh, because it was early June of 18. Yeah, early June of 2018 and I believe I was backing up my video editing drive. Now of course, now of course, I now, I now use R sync an R sync command for this. So, yeah. Here's when I got bored with when. Here's when I got bored with when with uh, Windows 3.1. Yeah, this is when I got bored with Windows 3.1 and randomly uh, set the date back to 1990 for some reason. doing here and I also don't know what I was doing here maybe I was backing up my home drive I don't know and here here's my TV setup at the time uh, go video DDV 9500 VCR uh, connected to a cheap Chinese Apex branded CRT television from 2003. Uh, here's a photo of the uh, side of the house. Uh, TV setup again. The Samsung uh, Mini DV tape camcorder. Uh, this, this is from some Gordon Ramsay show. I think it was 24 hours to hell and back. Uh, here's my main computer. In fact, we're actually, I think we're actually getting to my main computer pictures at this point. Yeah. yeah here's my primary monitor. Uh, yeah, secondary monitor. That's my third monitor at the time, that Magnavox thing. Uh, TV setup again. And stereo receiver. More main computer setup pictures. Main computer again. TAC AG680 stereo receiver, tech room. And I believe we've looped around. Yep, we have. So yeah, as I've said, 2018 was a pretty quiet year. Now we move on to 2019, which has not a heck of a lot going for it. So, a uh, third monitor went from a uh, that Magnavox TV to a Gateway EV700 CRT monitor manufactured October of 2000. And here we have it right here. What in the heck was I doing that made my room get up to 87 degrees? 
I don't know, maybe I was playing GPU intensive video game or something. But, anyway. Uh, 2019 is whenever we got our, uh, the internet that we currently have. A and that brought along a wireless card upgrade. Uh, originally went from using some U USB wireless thing to a dedicated Wi-Fi card, which in this case is an Asus PCE-AC68 wireless card. And it's the first wireless card this system has had in it. And now the main computer revision went from 2.2.3 to 2.3.3. And then I uh, believe not too long after that I upgraded the optical drive because the old one I had broke. So I went from Nasus uh, Blu-ray disc read-only drive to an LG Blu-ray disc rewritable drive, and that brought the hardware revision, main computer revision, from 2.3.3 to 2.4.3. Then I had an exhaust fan failure, so I swapped that, swapped the dead Cooler Master Sickle Flow 120 with another Cooler Master Sickle Flow 120. And that brought the main computer revision up to 2.5.3. Then I scavenged some RAM out of a couple of my systems, a couple of my other systems in the tech room, plus some uh, spares I had on hand. And uh, I dropped one computer from 8 gig to either 4 or 6 gig. Another computer uh, went down to 4 gig, and I. 8 gig, another 8 gigs went into my system, and uh, and I went from 8 gigs of RAM to 16 gigs of RAM. And as such, the main computer revision went from 2.5.3 to 2.6.3. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So here's some more tech room pictures. This is when I had another setup going on here in the tech room for just a little bit of time. Uh, I believe I was debanding a hard drive. And over here is me messing around with another one of my uh, computers. Uh, tech room, again. There's a Gateway VX700 CRT monitor. And some other doodahs and odds and ends. Another photo of this setup here. And uh, this is a screensaver, courtesy of X Screensaver. This is that photo we were just looking at. And basically, basically at this point, it's just a bunch of photos on my main computer setup. And these are the these are the two images I use to create my channel banner. There's the fan controller. I don't know what that was about. Uh, rendering the file server fiasco video. And we've looped back around. Yeah. Yeah, 20, 2019, also a pretty quiet year. Now we move on to this train wreck of a year, 2020. So, April 11th, so, yeah, April, we start 2020 off with main computer revision 2.6.3. And, yeah, uh, April 11th of 2020, uh, I installed a SCSI controller into my system, uh, which is covered in the video Tape Archival Project Part 1. And that particular SCSI controller is an LSI Logic LSI 2220SLE. Uh, and that bumped the main computer revision from 2.6.3 to 2.7.3. And then, uh, June of this year, I got a new mouse. Uh, which is an Elecom EX-G EX Pro. Which I like this thing. I just wish they chose a better bearings for the trackball. Yeah. Uh, and it's covered in this picture. 
know, this picture right here. I got a new, I got a new phone in late 2019, an LG V50 ThinQ, and the naming and the way it names its phone is a, is a bit cryptic. There's no se separators between date and time, date and time, and it doesn't use seconds in the time field. So, yeah, trying to look for a specific photo gets kind of tricky. So, yeah. Uh, and then also in June of 2020, I basically did a complete nuke and pave on my main computer. Uh, I forget what video that was, but it was about the middle of the, I uploaded it about the middle of this year. And I believe the video that immediately followed it was able to edit again was just like some, and I believe that was just like some five second clip of me, of me doing some stupid effect on a random video, on a random chunk of a video. Basically, it demonstrates that I'm able to edit again, and that's it. There is no other functional purpose to that. So, yeah, I went from XUbun to 18.04 LTS to Debian. And I also pushed out full disk encryption on all drives in that computer. And yeah, that was a pretty major change. So not, so not only did the operating system revision number get incremented, I also decided to increment the hardware revision number because of the significance of adding full disk encryption to the system. So I went from 2.7.3 to 2.8.4. And it's covered in this picture, which is a photo of uh, the Debian installer installing Debian onto my system, Debian 10 to be exact. And then, uh, also in June of 2020, I got another 8 terabyte external hard drive because uh, I was starting to kind of run a little bit tight on room on the first drive I got. So yeah, both drive, two drives in service. And uh, I, and in July of 2020, I moved my system from Debian 10 to Debian testing. And I incremented the main computer revision from 2.8.4 to 2.8.5 as a result. And somewhere along the way, throughout the course of this year, Monitor 3 got swapped out from a Gateway EV700 to a Gateway VX700 that was manufactured in November of 1999. And yeah. Right, and this was a... Re and this is a chunk... This is a photo I took because I believe I unlocked the system and Caden Live's uh, clip monitor had random had pulled a random chunk of VRAM and uh, this is what just so happened to be in that particular chunk of VRAM yeah and uh, this is a uh, panorama of the tech room when Gavin was when Gavin was staying over watching some YouTube. So there's that. And here's photos of my main computer setup, which I took on the second of this month. And uh, I also added a vertical monitor mounting arm vertical monitor mounting arm to my main computer setup uh, and I also got a uh, another LG 32, 32ML 600M-B monitor so there's that and, that, and the monitor I got is now up on, t on the top of the monitor mounting arm so, and that's my fourth monitor so here's my second and third monitors. And here's my Xbox 360 and JVC XL FZ 258 five disc CD changer that I got at Goodwill for a whopping $10. Uh, HP Ultram 448 LTO2 tape drive, main computer. Uh, there's a wireless antenna for my 
wireless card. Monitor mounting arm. Uh, back behind the main computer setup. And just some more random photos of my of my room. And there's my video capture machine, an HP Pavilion M7480 in computer. And that is the last photo in this folder. Past that point, we just wrap to the beginning of the folder. Uh, I will be uploading videos from my old YouTube channel. Now, I have some abandoned videos. Uh, right. Uh, I have four categories of videos. Abandoned, officially released, unprocessed, and unreleased. Now, uh, officially released means these videos made it to my old YouTube channel. Like They got uploaded to my old YouTube channel and saw the light of day before that channel was taken down in the middle of 2015. These videos have not seen the light of day since then. The abandoned uh, playlist it, it is consists of videos that I had recorded, but I decided, uh, I think I had intentionally decided not to process them for whatever reason. Now these videos will not be processed; they will be uploaded in their raw form. They will be uploaded in their raw form to the playlist, and I will name them appropriately. The unprocessed folder contains videos that I intended to be processed, and processed, rendered, and uploaded. However, I never got around to doing it before that channel was shut down. Other things, other things happened, and I began focusing on my new, on my current YouTube channel. And then the unreleased folder consists of videos that I originally uploaded to you that I originally intended to upload to YouTube as is, like the videos have been processed and rendered and everything. All I needed to do was click the fancy magical little upload button. But I didn't. So yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, let's recap the specs. Whenever I originally got it, it had some random case. I still don't know what that case is. It had 4GB of DDR3 RAM. It had an Intel Pentium D960 processor. It had a 460 watt Cooler Master power supply. It had a 1TB Toshiba hard drive as the first hard drive. The second hard drive was a 160GB IDE Western Digital Caviar drive. It had, a uh, an IDE DVD rewritable drive. It had Windows 7 Professional 64-bit. It had no card reader. It had a Gigabyte G41MT-S2PT motherboard. It had no Wi-Fi card, SCSI controller, or FireWire 400 controller. Now, it has a Deepcool Kinemon TI case, 16 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, an Intel Core i7-4790K processor, an Eevka Supernova G2 750 watt power supply. Uh, it has an SSD, a sand uh, 128 gigabyte SanDisk Z400S, which is boot. The first hard drive is a Western Digital Black 2 terabyte with home mounted to it. And the second hard drive is a Western Digital Black 2 terabyte with my video editing stuff on it. The optical drive is, a, is an LG Blu-ray disc rewritable drive. The operating system is Debian testing 64 bit. It has a 50 in 1 card reader. It has an MSI MS-7850 motherboard. It has an Asus PCE-AC68 wireless card. It has an LSI Logic LSI 2230SLE SCSI controller card. And it has an LSI FireWire 323 card. So, there you have it. That has been the past seven years of my main computer's history touching a little bit along my YouTube, my old YouTube channel, and, uh, well, there's not really anything for the tech room because I really didn't document that. Because I really didn't document anything about that. Uh, well, I may have, but 
that's probably scattered across a number of different videos on my YouTube channel and I'm not going to and I'm not bothered to go back through and pull all of those so anyways this is the computer geek 01010101 here Merry Christmas Happy New Year see you next year peace out guys peace out and here's to another seven years of my main computer setup Okay, uh. okay, that should have the audio sync taken care of.